Okay, welcome to theboatbrokerage.com. This is Dan Jones. We've got a brief introduction to the 2006 Bavaria 42 Cruiser Freysenay. Just panning across there. As you can see, she's been kept under a full boat cover for her entire life. I actually sold this boat new. She was originally owned by a Royal Australian Navy captain, so he obviously knows how to look after his boats. Um, there's a Selden rig there. Double spreaders. As you can see, the main's boom bag lazy jacks. That's a fully battened main with bat cars, boom bag, and the jib is on a Furlex Furler. Okay, just, just panning around to the back of the boat now. She's got the bimini. As you can see, stainless steel gas barbecue, walk through transom. It's got a three step fold out ladder shore power on the starboard side and hot and cold shower on port side. Coming aboard, you've got the emergency emergency steering, lift up there, gas lockers, port and starboard, stainless steel gas bottle. It's going to be a little bit dark as we come in because of the cover, but that's uh, the twin wheel setup. In the middle we've got the instruments. Zooming in there, you've got the tri data, so speed, distance, depth, and the autopilot on the starboard side and the wind instrument down low. A new Raymarine chart plotter, fully full cut colour chart plotter, has been installed on the pod there. And coming into the cockpit, there is a fold down dodger. Bavaria factory dodger with an opening central window that folds down into the garage there for sailing so have better visibility all lines lead aft to the cockpit so you've got Lumar self-tailing winches bank of clutches single line reefing for the main it has a traveller there you go and the cockpit itself has got a large cockpit esky, which is great for entertaining. Fit wine bottles or beer in there. I've just got the instrument covers at the moment. And on both sides, port and starboard, you've got storage. Okay, it's also got cockpit speakers on port and starboard at the wheel. All right, just going below. So it's a solid mahogany interior, solid wood. Alrighty. That's a faux leather saloon. The nav station has got another Raymarine chart plotter and a Raymarine VHF, 12 volt and 240 volt plugs, both a nav station in the galley and both heads. Okay. Just take you below and we'll do the walkthrough. Flat screen TV. All opening windows. I've got all the curtains closed at the moment because of the cover, so we won't be able to see too well. 54 horsepower Volvo Penta with a three blade folding prop. We'll just open up the hatch. Okay. That's the engine there. It's only got 169 hours. It's only been used for uh, basically light harbour sailing and twilight sailing this boat. So it's had very little use. It's been very well looked after. Okay, this is the starboard aft cabin. That's a double cabin. You've got water storage underneath there. Underneath your seat there, that lifts up with more storage, hanging lockers, and a few more cupboards just there. The aft cabin's got three opening windows. One, two, and three. And lights as well. Okay, moving to the port guest head. It's got an electric macerator toilet. Hot and cold water at the vanity. Storage. 
has a holding tank and a separate stand up shower. Just there, I'll just pan through there so you can see that. Got its own shower curtain and a seat for rough weather. Okay. Alright, just making our way forward. You've also got speakers in the saloon, port and starboard for the stereo. This is your galley to port. This is the main fridge, 12 volt chest fridge. Just give you a bit of a shot through there. That's a two burner gimbaled gas stove and oven. With gas shot off valve, obviously the gas tanks are located on the transom as we saw on the way through. This is your bar fridge. Okay. So you can put your milk and butter and things so you don't have to dive to the bottom of the chest fridge for that one. And there's your rubbish bin. You've got twin stainless steel sinks, fairly deep, so you can they can be used offshore. Hot and cold water. One feature worth pointing out is the hole windows. One on either side. and in both cabins, so when you're at anchor or at mooring it's quite a pleasant atmosphere down below. Something else worth pointing out is the size of this. That tie rod is massive compared to a lot of boats out there, so they heavily over-engineered these boats. Moving forward, this is the master cabin up front, Bavaria did it up front in the 42, so it's very quiet at anchor or at the mooring because you don't have that slap 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 like you would at the rear of the boat. Um, large island stroke V berth, your own private ensuite. It's got hot and cold water at the vanity, and that's also been electrified. Macerated toilet with its own holding tank located behind the mirror, and more storage behind there as well. All the heads have ventilation windows. I'll just pan through the front cabin for you. Okay, so fans in the front cabin, lights, opening hatches, hull windows. Large cupboard there. Alright, that's been your brief walkthrough of the Bavaria 42 2006 Freysenay. It's Dan Jones from theboatbrokerage.com signing off.